So the other day I was driving into work and I heard this terrible grinding sound coming from one of my wheels. Turns out I had a really big brake issue going on, but while I had it apart, I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you how a brake system works and talk about why being an auto mechanic is such a massive technical field. So this is basically your brake assembly. There's going to be some different major components here. We have the rotor, or you could have drum brakes, but a lot of cars nowadays have these rotors. Basically just a round wheel. This is what actually spins. And then this, your caliper, has a piston inside of it that's going to clamp down and squeeze onto this rotor. Now, to keep a bunch of wear from occurring between those two when they interact, we have brake pads in there, and they're kind of tough to see. Those brake pads are made of a consumable material that's going to slowly wear down over time, but they're basically going to get squeezed together and clamp onto that, and that's what's going to slow it down. I suspect one of two things one of my brake rotors started making this horrible sound. Either my pads were bad, or this came loose, because I recently took this off and I did not use Loctite. Loctite is a material, it's basically a glue, that you put on threads before you put a bolt back in there and it keeps them from falling out. I didn't do that, I didn't think I needed it, I think I just learned the hard way. Because, looking in there I can see that my brake pads are still good, and my whole rotor I was wiggling it earlier, is loose. And that's because... <laughs> yep, that bolt right there just came right out on the road. Look at all this damage! Okay, so we do need to go to O'Reilly's. So the whole reason that we're filming this video today is to talk about technical careers and why they're so important. And I promise I'll be brief with this. I was able to fix my car. I knew how to fix my car because people have showed me how. I had the time to fix my car and I knew where to get the parts. Not everybody has those luxuries. So a lot of people will end up taking their cars to the shop where they'll spend hundreds or thousands of dollars to get the same repairs done. Now what I wanna tell you is that that's a massive opportunity. Be the one in the shop that knows how to fix the car. A lot of people rely on cars to get around. A lot of cars break down. There will always be a demand for people to fix those cars. The same as there's always going to be a demand for people to weld buildings, there's always going to be a demand for people to fix air conditioners. These are called technical careers, and they pay really well. So if you want to learn more about technical careers, you can find us at www.futuremakerlab.com. We actually come out to schools with all sorts of different things, and we teach kids about STEM and why the trades are so important. This has been Levi from the Future Maker Lab. I'll see you guys next time.